Assalamu alaikum. Samir Soge with you. I have this small fan with me, which might look small, but it is very powerful. It helps keep my brain cool when it becomes very hot. There are two settings, high and low, and I have connected this thing to an IP switch with which I can control it from the comfort of my bed using Amazon Echo or Open Hub app. The problem is sometimes my, my brain is not that hot. For that, I wish that I could keep the setting too low. But imagine getting up from the bed and going to the fan to turn it on uh, to the low setting. Oh, it's too much, man. I can't do it. This could eventually raise my temperature further. So what I've done is I have got this module. This module is from Armtronics. This module has SSR plus Triac. Basically what it means is you can uh, turn on or off one of the device connected and you can uh, make it act like a dimmer to a fan or a bulb etc. So with this I can change the intensity of the fan from the comfort of my bed without getting up and my brain has already become cooler. I'll show you how. Keep on watching. Thank you. Before we begin, I'll give you some info about the board. The board can be purchased from Tindy and the link mentioned in the description. This is an ESP8266 ESP12E which controls the SSR which is the relay and the dimmer which is the triac. This is the AC to DC module which uh, powers the ESP8266. This is the terminal which takes in uh, AC 110 or 220 volts whatever. This is the solid state relay. This relay is uh, rated at 2 amps. I made a mistake of connecting an iron to it and I blew the fuse. So I had to replace it with another fuse. So you have to be careful that your load should not exceed 2 amps. This is the triac and this acts as the dimmer to any load connected to it. These are uh, I2C pins if you need to connect any I2C based device. There are analog and uh, digital GPIO pins available on the side. There is uh, RX and TX for serial. There is push buttons. Uh, with which you can control the board in any way you want using the code. So the connection as I've mentioned is uh, this is the mains. I'll zoom out and show you how I've connected it. This is the mains which is connected to a, a power extension. Uh, this is the output of the solid state relay and over here you can get the output of the demo module. So I'll uh, connect some load to it and show it to you. Let me power the board first. This one goes into the mains over here. Okay, this is the mains. Let me move it inside. Okay, and this is the solid state relay on which I'm connecting a CFL bulb. Okay, and I have a bulb with me which will be controlled by the dimmer, dimmer of the module. Okay. Now this thing is powered up. Let me control it from the web interface. The code for this module can be obtained from GitHub. This is the web page. I go to control GPIO since I want to control the GPIO. First, let me turn on and off the SSR based load. OK, 
can as you can see it is turning on and turning off let me start the dimmer okay now let me vary the load to the dimmer as you can see it's increasing and decreasing and off i can also control this thing by the open hab app since i've integrated the web url into open hab app so this is the open hab app this is the fan because this port is normally meant for fan the fan i showed you so this is on and the varying loads and this is the bulb on and off thanks for watching and do subscribe